Meadville appear ready to be closing down their Meadville office and maybe letting go of some employees. It would be a blow to a community that was the birthplace of that company. Stories new at 10 o'clock. Fox 66's Saida Abbas was in Meadville getting reaction tonight. Saida. Sean, we're being told the pending layoffs can affect as many as 50 employees, but this notice does not signify an immediate closure of the Meadville office. According to J.M. Smucker, the Meadville office operations of Ainsworth Pet Nutrition are set to close, but manufacturing will continue. Smucker filed a worker adjustment and retraining notification with the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry. Well, you know, I'm sad that it's happened, but I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, we were hoping that they would reconsider and keep some of the corporate offices in the city of Meadville. But uh, again, we're not, I'm not shocked that this has happened. Meadville residents are shocked to hear this news. Some even have family that work for the company. Smucker bought the Meadville-based company for $1.7 billion in April. Barbara Kunselman has lived in Meadville now for 48 years. It hurts because uh, Ainsworth and Channel Up both are Meadville companies. So, and it's going to affect the town if Ainsworth ends up shutting down. The times are hard for businesses, but like that's that's people's livelihood and that's like that's a lot of jobs, you know, and that's like you know, it's not fair that you know, people have to put in you know, so much notice. According to the Meadville Tribune, Smuckers is consolidating five different offices dedicated to their pet food business into their Ohio headquarters. Assuming that's going to be pretty bad for the community. A lot of people will be losing jobs. So, not very good. The layoffs done during several months are expected to conclude by April 30th, 2019. And Mayor Stern hopes that out of the 77 employees at Meadville, some can transfer to the Ohio headquarters. Back to you, Sean. Saida Abbas reporting tonight. Thanks, Saida.